the recording. So I'm sharing my screen here. You see, so today we are going to discuss about the so client administration. So as I mentioned yesterday, so we are going to discuss about the client administration. This is one of the very important topic. So client administration, it's a very important topic. So to recap what we discussed in two previous classes, we discussed about the installation. Then after that work process, we discussed, right? SAP work process, so dialogue, update, so NQ, background, so, so gateway, school, so message server, all these seven work process we discussed, right? Two are in the ACS instance, five work process in the, five work process in the, where? So five work process in the, so <coughs> primary application server, right? application servers we have the two instances will be created so we discussed about the schools transaction codes background background transaction codes all this we we discussed right so apart from that so we have during the installation during the installation we have so we have two clients will be during the installation two clients will be created two clients will be created that is called the default clients one is the triple zero and double zero one these are the master clients these are the two clients will be created during the installation so that's why we will call it as the master client master clients so in this master client master client having the master data so it has the master data so but so, but for our business, for our business, our business is required the new client. One custom client we have to create it. One custom client we have to create it. For that one, the client number should be triple zero to triple nine. In between, we can create it. But triple zero double zero one already SAP is taken, like SAP clients. Mm -hmm. So apart apart from this, these two clients remaining clients remaining any client we can create it from there we can do the business which means starting from double zero two two and triple nine we can create the any client we can create it manually we can create the the client so always the client number should be triple zero two triple nine but the triple zero double zero one already taken by sap so SAP clients, so that we cannot do our business in the SAP client. So we have to manually create in our client, then we have to do it one. So yes, uh, Nanda, tell me. Okay, I know the exact meaning of the client. Yeah, I will, I will, will, yeah, yeah, I will, I will come to that. Yeah. So here, so we are we are telling like we have to create the client, the client number we have to create and everything, right? But what is client here? Exactly. So what is client here? Client is the one of the business entity. If I talk about theoretically, client is the one of the business business entity where we have to run the business, we need a one client. Suppose business means so you have to save the you have to save the business your business data suppose you have <clears throat> you have some uh, like finance business right you have some hr business you have some uh, chemical business cement business so factories business you have so you want to store your business data you want to do everything but we cannot we cannot we cannot save our business data we cannot do in our in these two clients why because these are the SAP related clients. So we cannot do here. So where we have to do? We need to create a one new client. We have to create it. So in SAP, we have the client concept. Not directly we will log into the SAP user ID and password. So then we cannot do. So we have the client concept SAP. So we have to choose client. Then we have to we have to choose the client. Then we have to log in. Log in that, in that client. We have to do our customization. Customization means code development, business, everything. We have to do it at one. So one client, one business, we can run it. So you can create the one more client, two clients as well. You can create it. 
then three clients also you can create it that depends upon the customer interest customer need so but one client is for the one business one client is for the one business so in the same system you can create the one more client also you can create it one more multiple clients also you can create it so that what happens multiple business will so like multiple operations will happen in the same system but two clients suppose this is the sap system right in the sap system you have already triple zero double zero one clients are there normally we will log in from here to here to sap we will log in to the any one of the client normally nowadays we are logging and we are doing why because we don't have any other new clients we are logging to the sap client then we are doing just we are just executing our transaction codes and everything but it's not the correct procedure it's not the correct procedure so because we are logging to the sap clients sap clients means where we have the sap data and everything is available master data but what sap is telling what sap is recommending we need to create a one new client we have to create it we have to create a one new client we have to create it that is either any client you can create it either either double zero one double zero two three or hundred two hundred four hundred whatever the number you have to give it you can give it in between you can give any number but because already two numbers already taken so you can give the one more number you can give it that is called the hundred suppose my this is my client number suppose some other customers they will give the 400 some other customers 500 some other customers 900 some other customers they will give the 786 so like that any number you can provide it so once you provide this number then from that onwards the users will connect to the this client so all users will connect to the this client not this one so this client they will connect it from here they will they will store all their business data and everything from here they will store it here so here different here different so here they they will log in and they will do the all the business data not the standard clients standard clients means not the master clients so we cannot do any changes in the master clients master client is only for the to retrieve the master data only master data master data means company codes master company codes gls some settings so the, that type of locations times order all these things available in the so master clients only we cannot touch these two clients so we have to manually we have to create the one client we have to create it there we have to run our business from the this client this client we have to run the business so suppose if you if i, if I talk about the abbreviation for abbreviation wise so what is client means client is an business entity entity and you know right so organization client is an one business entity where you need to run the business you need a client you need a one manually you need a one client in that to run the business simply to run the business you need a client simply simple word to run the business you need a client you need to create a client without client you cannot run the business no no directly can i go ahead and do the business in here no it's not possible why because the, the clients sap it won't allow you to run your business custom data code changes everything from here why because for, for your business you need to change the code and everything right you cannot do changes in the in these two clients but because the master data if you change it here master data will be changed so sap is not responsible so that's why sap won't recommend do the changes in the, these two clients you have to create the one client there you can do whatever you want you can do that that is our client business client that's why we will call it as the business client number and number you can give any number that's the client interest so either 100 200 300 400 whatever you have the numbers right from from this number to this number any number you can give it so any number so production we have one client so but tomorrow there is a scenario <coughs> there is a scenario your customer want to test it they have done the development here they want to test it then you can create the one more client you can create it then they can do the testing they can do the testing and they in this client as well in this client also they can do the testing so that's that's the thing of the client so each client they have a separate code once you create same system you created the code here so you created the code code here then you have to move the code to from here to here you need to test it 
you create you develop the code here you cannot test from here only you have to create the code and you have to do the testing in the another client as well another client so that's why you need to you need to create the one more client here you don't have budget to build the one more sap system and create the client and move the client move the this code to the this client the system and do the testing in this case what you have to do in the same system you can create the one more client that is called the 200 client you can create it you can move the whatever that you developed here you can move to the here then you can do the work from the 200 client so each client has their separation like own specific client specific data available and we have the, in the data we have the client specific data and cross client cross client means it, one data if you develop it that is available in the all the client that is called the cross client data client specific data cross client data so both the data are available in the system okay so but client is very important to run our business one client is important either it is the 100 or 200 or 300 whatever it may be in that client is important here okay now you got it right client is the one of the business entity to run the business we need a client simple okay so here how to create the client then what is the required client here so to create the client so we have to use the scc4 is the transaction code scc4 scc4 is the transaction code scc4 is the t code to create a client here in this transaction code we have to create the client but there is a dependency there is a dependency to create the client to create the client first of all you need to develop the you need to define a logical system you need to define a logical system so you have to define it so logical systems you have to define it right so what is this logical system okay first of all you understand right what is client and what is this client how to create the client that we will discuss now but so what is client why we need client so these two do these two words you understand right these two lines so client is to run the business we need a one client so why it's required means to store our business data to store our transactions to run any transactions without disturbing the master clients so we have to we need to create a one client that you understand right okay so once you've done the logical sorry once you plan the client creation before you go ahead and create the logic client client before you go ahead and create the client in the scc4 the first you need to define a logical system you have to define the logical systems so logical system means to identify the client to ident to identify the client within the landscape okay within the landscape we need a we need a logical we need a logical system we need a logical system to identify the client within the system within the landscape we need a logical client okay to identify the client within the landscape we need a logical system so the naming convention of the so there is a syntax actually that is we will call it as the naming convention so there is a naming convention to create to give the logical system address that is called the sid okay cl and t and client number client number we have to give it which means if your sid example if your sid is ecp ecp cl and t the client if you are creating 100 client so then we have to define the client number is 100 suppose your your system is like so s4f then sid is s4f then cl and t the client which you are creating 400 client then 400 we have to define so like that we have to define a logical systems to the client so first you need to define the logical system then only you have to go ahead and create the client so where we have to define the logical system means they are the two transaction codes sale or bd54 are the transaction codes t codes for the t codes for the logical system creations logical 
system creation i will show you how to do that one okay so why we have to create this one means why we have to create the client means client to run the business we need a client then why again logical system to identify the client suppose example if you see here in our real time landscape in our real time landscape so our landscape in the real time our systems so our systems we, we in the each landscape like if, suppose if i take the ecg landscape we have development system we have quality system we have so production system we have the three system landscape right that is the ecc suppose if you take the netweaver netweaver also we have the same system development quality and the production like that three systems we will build it actually three system each each product like ecc we will build the three systems so ecc we will build the three systems one is called the development so one is called the development one is called the quality assurance quality means testing second third one is called the so production so production systems we will build up three systems so same development quality production same other product also development quality production we will build the three systems why because why three systems why can't we do all the work in one system if you do all the work in one system so you have to develop the code in the same system you have to do the say, uh, testing in the same system you have to do the all the business users will log in and do the work in the same system means so there will be a clash there will be some inconsistencies if something happens during the testing or developing your business production system your business system will be down if the system is down so you, the business users will not log in and they will they can't do the transactions right to avoid this one so what normally they will normally the typical landscape will be the development then they will do that all they will build the three systems basically one system they will name it as the development in the development system development means all the development works like writing the code development works all will be written in the development system then they will move the changes to the quality they will move the changes to the quality quality means testing testing server so here we will do the all the testing and everything then once testing is successful then they will move the changes to the production changes will be moved to the production so changes will be imported to the production so in the production we have the business users in the production we have business users all business users will log in and they will do their work and everything now where is we are connecting to the amazon flipkart so irctc red bus so other other say other other services we are connecting directly we are connecting to the so their production systems we are doing their transactions from there so not here their quality systems and development system directly we are connecting to the our production systems we are doing it here so suppose if you want to develop anything <coughs> suppose in the tomorrow business they want to develop some search functionality directly they cannot go ahead and do the here first they will go in the development systems they will develop here then after that they will move the changes to the quality the quality thoroughly they will test it whether this functionality will break any other things this functionality will work really so like that they will do the some testing here test testing team they will do the testing here once the testing is successful then only they will move the changes to the production team production system so like that the systems will like that they will develop the landscapes in the real time like that they will develop the landscapes here develop them so each system they have they will do the some separate sid this is also sid this is also sid but what my each system there is a client right so whatever the client you mention here suppose 100 client same client we have to create here as well the same client we have to develop here as well right whatever the settings you are maintaining here same you have to maintain in the other systems as well so you have to maintain the other systems as well it should be similar then only your testing will be successful <clears throat> otherwise what happens system is in the inconsistency status even though your test is successful in the quality system but it will fail in the production environment why because both are not the same both are not the same so that's why we have to maintain the common settings in the across the landscape landscape means in our landscape suppose landscape means we have three systems development quality production these three systems are called the landscape so okay landscapes landscape landscape means so it's kind of 
so systems what are the systems you have what are the products you have there is a systems here handscape okay same as like if the netweaver you are using netweaver also there is a development quality and production if you are using this one this is also development and quality and production we have so here but this is also in the landscape to identify the client within the landscape to so this is the development client this is the quality client this is a production client how can we identify how can we identify which one is the development client uh, which one is the suppose where business data is coming data is coming from outside from outside to here from outside to it is you are coming to the ecc landscape your organization landscape it is coming how this data knows how this data knows okay which client i should save the data either the development client or the quality client or production client which client i should save the data so like that the data is in the dilemma so that that's why we have to define the logical system suppose if you define the logical system suppose like development suppose development as said is the ecd clnt 100 client then quality sid so ecq ecc quality system like that we have named it right so the sid our production quality production system sid is ecp clnt 100 client so here if you define if you assign this logical system if you assign this logical system to the client then the data the data the applications the connections which are connecting to the your system either the your some other external systems external interfaces external things are connecting to the so your your system either it is connecting to the development client or quality client or production client so depends upon this logical system it will connect to the your client depends upon the logical system it will connect and it will send the it will pass the communication to the respective thing respective respective thing it will pass the communication respective thing it will pass the communication so that's why we have to define the logical systems so logical system means to identify the client within the landscape we need a logical system suppose <coughs> suppose so you have so uh, suppose three persons three persons they have three six goats right three persons in a so three persons they have the six goats right two what two one person two one person two one person has the goats but each person to identify their goats to identify goats so they will they will do some identify right they will they will just they will they will put some identification and everything to the that goats right so they can easily similarly they can easily identify the goats within the their uh, landscape right within their landscape they can easily they identify okay this is my goat this is my goat like that they can simply easily identify for that purpose only they will they will put some identification what is that identification from the sap side is the logical system is the identification and example is the this is the how the logical system naming convention should be like that we have to define it then only we will come to know okay this is the s4f 400 client this is the ecp 100 client okay the data should go to the ecp 100 client you should go so like that we will we will we will identify the client in the landscape we will identify where you should go and sit the data where you should, data should go and store the data into the table level depends upon the logical system the data will be stored into the system right this is the logical system and the client any any confusion any questions here now how to do that one how to create the logical systems and the client that we will discuss now so if no questions then i will go ahead and i will create the so client here any questions sir okay sir specific client to cross client to mention sir yeah ad vastadu maniki ipudu vastadu inga vastadu inga kala client administration kaledu so that we will we will discuss now that client things sir yeah inko kodi 066 client there is no no nowadays there is no 066 client previously we have the three week three clients like 000 and 001 previously when you do the installation we will get the three clients so now we are getting the 0 
zero double six client. So three clients we will get it out previously. Previously, previously means it's a old installation. But uh, this is called the EWA client, early watch client. But this client is removed now, so there is no longer zero double six client. So SAP removed that one. Now we are getting only two clients. That is called the triple zero and double zero. SAP recommended to delete this client. Delete this client. So we will also discuss how to delete as well. That's why we are not going to discuss about the zero double six client. Why? Because nowadays there is no third client. Only two clients will be created default. Okay, so here, so let me log in. Let me log into the system here. So, Okay, so <clears throat> I am logging to the our ECB system. We have the JAY systems and the SOF systems are there. But we are primarily we are using the ECP system, right? I am connecting to the our ECP systems. I am connecting here. I am connecting to the our ECP systems. I am connecting here. Here, top system. So it's connecting to the ECP system. So we'll see. Oh, it's not up, right? What happened? Request handling without progress. Dispatcher down. Dispatcher down. Yeah, we got it now. Okay, it's up. So, so I'm connecting one of the user here. I'm connecting one of the user here. Here the client you can see here. Here by default triple zero and double zero one clients are there. So here we are connecting. We are connecting to the any one of the user you have to connect it. Any one of the user you have to connect it. You can connect it. So to create the client, so you can connect it to the any one of the user. See here we got the one dump installation error database inconsistency error start the transaction SICK. So if we go ahead and see the transaction code SICK, we will come to know what exactly cannot establish the connection to message server. Cannot establish there are several severe problems detected during the initial checks. Please don't use the system before fixing the problems. So something is happened in our systems. Something is happened in our systems. You can see something is happened. There are the multiple application servers we have they have installed. One, two, three, four application servers they have installed, right? So something is wrong here. <clears throat> there is no uh, message server, NMP server is not running. Something is wrong here in our systems. See here, it's like uh, server is not attached to the here. So something is wrong. All are in the yellow status. What happened exactly? So we will try to restart. We will try to restart the system. Why? Because message server is down. Without down, methods without message server system cannot pass the request system cannot send the request to the respective application server that is what we discussed right with message server so user request will go first yes yes to message server message server to dispatcher dispatcher to available work process that is the flow we discussed right so now message server is not available if the message server is not available here so that's why system we have some zoo, cannot establish the connection to message server we have some severe errors are occurred here. So that's why I just restarted the system. So restarted the system here. Click on the refresh button. So you have a number of installed already four. So actually two are enough, but you installed four. That's not a problem, but don't install more. 
why because if you install the more <coughs> so there is a more memory is required here so then systems will give troubles like that only if you don't have much memory so don't install much applications otherwise just to, instead of doing that one now you know concept how to install and everything just you can do practice once after you log in just to log into the system then do the practice Whatever is it all? This is the refresh button. Okay, you just if you click on the refresh button, it will give the it will refresh the current status and everything. If the all are ash color, which means it's our stopped status. If it is in the yellow, yellow means it means amber color means it's in progress. It either is stopping, it's not completely started or not completely stopped. If it is the green status. It is all our green status, then all our green status, then it's completely stopped. It's completely stopped. Like that, we will get the so you will get the color coding here. Okay. So you have the ECP system. So you have the ECP system. In ECP, you have the so four application servers you have. Four application servers you have. One ACS, four application servers, one DB. Applications we can create in n number of applications we can create, but DB is only one. But ACS is only one. ACS means message server and queue server is only one. So only one. I think it's starting mode now. See here now message server and queue server started first. During the startup, ACS will start first. Means a message server will start first. Then only the application servers, remaining application servers will start next. Remaining application servers will start next. Okay. So there is no not allocations of the memory more memory so that's why the remaining are unable to start if you restart the operating system then it will be fine if you restart the operating system you will log in okay so now just to give the basis user i'm logging to the basis user okay see i logged in now i logged in successfully if I go and execute the SSCK transaction code, there are no errors reported now. Why? Because everything is green when you restart it. We go ST22 to checking the dumps. You have one dump back to the previous, that is called the database inconsistency. We discussed SSCK transaction code. Is that the daily monitoring transaction code? SSCK, ST22, SM21. All these are the daily transactions. We have to practice it very well. Okay. So now we are discussing about the client creation client creation right so if you go ahead and create the client in sec4 so here we have clients are there just click just click on the display change display change then click on the new entry to create the client go to the go to the sec4 is the transaction code okay sec4 is the transaction code then click on the new entry then here give the client number suppose 400 i want to create the 400 client okay the client description maybe you can give anything client 400 something like that city which city you are in creating maybe hyderabad so what is the logical system here so that's why before creating the client you need to define the logical system we don't have any logical systems here with 400 client so we don't have any logical systems here then you need to create the logical system then come to this screen for creation of the client so just take the new screen this is taking the new screen here so then go to fail or bd54 transaction code for creation of the client creation of the new entry here okay so all these things are not required these are the old entries These are the old entries, so it's not required for us anymore. So we can delete it. Just delete it. 
selecting this before the function. Okay, we have to select here. Okay, so now to create the logical system, okay, BD54 is the transaction. We have to define the logical system. Otherwise, you cannot go ahead and create the client. So first we need to define the logical system. Click on the new entry. Then logical system naming convention. What we discussed in the naming convention of the logical system, SID, CL, and the client number. So our SID is ECP, right? ECP, CL, and the what is the client number we are going to create? Suppose my client want to create the 400 client. So just by so 400 client I'm creating. Just I given the name. Name you can give anything, not a problem. But here syntax, which you are defining the syntax, that is the standard syntax you have to define it. Client, SID, CLNT, the client number, you have to define it. Then click on the save button. Save. So that will be saved. Right? Like that, you need to create the client. Suppose if you are creating one more client, SID, CLNT, suppose 500 client you are defining, then you can define the 500 something like that you have to create the client but because this SID is the ECP then you need to all clients will be starts with the ECP SLNT this one suppose your SID starts with the S4F S4F CLNT suppose you are creating the 100 client then the logical system naming convention should be like that logical system naming convention should be like that you have to create it see all the entries are created data is saved so this is the way we have to create the logical systems once you define the logical systems then you come to the client screen <laughs> so that's why after the logical system creation you have to come to the client creation screen then just browse the browse the the logical system which you created suppose you are creating the 400 client for ecp then you have to assign only this one so it's not like that so okay I have created the my my SID is the different my client is the different then you have to assign this one means there is a inconsistency which means it's not recommended it's not the good way to good practice to create the client so whatever the client you are creating you need to define same logical system you need to define it here so you need to define it here so otherwise so if you are creating the ECP 400 client you are creating then if you assign the S4F 100 client then what is the use of assigning the logical system here there is no usage right how the data will go and sit here so we will get the some inconsistencies in the table level table level data data will not go and sit into the table level so that's why whatever the client in which system you are defining same you have to go here then you have to assign the logical systems the currency the client currency if it is the indian client you can just provide the INR. If it is a German client, maybe you can choose different, different things. You can choose it. So what is the client role here you are creating? In the landscape, in the landscape, we discussed it, right? In the landscape, suppose you are creating the development client, you need to choose the development client, development. So suppose if you see here, if you see here, Suppose you are developing you are in the landscape, you are the three systems landscape, right? Three or four systems landscape. Some customers, they have the four systems. So development client, which means you need to choose the, how we are defining, how we are telling, how we are naming it like, uh, this is the development client. This is the quality client. This is the production system. How I am telling like, based upon the role, based upon the role, how, how who you are. Suppose if I ask, if I ask you, whom you are like if i ask that can who are you like that if i ask you depends upon the role depends upon the designation in your organization you will tell like okay i'm a lead i'm a architect i'm a consultant i'm a basis consultant i'm a security guy so so how you are telling you are a consultant based upon your role based upon your designation right based upon designation you are telling okay i'm a this person so and so person right here also how you are telling this is the development system. This is the quality system. This is the production system like that. How you are telling, but can't I assume this is the development system? How you are telling? Can't I assume this is the production system? Can't I tell? Okay. This is the production system. If I tell, will you blindly agree? No. How, how can we tell? How can we put the setting, same settings to the here in the system as well? So here 
the role the client role will tell client role will tell you okay which system is this the client role will tell you which system is this if it is the production we have to set production if it is a testing test system customization development is the demo training system what depends upon the role maybe you can you can set that client role okay so then once you've done this one once you provide the logical system once you provide the currency and the client role then here we have the client specific settings and cross client settings we have what is this settings for what is this settings for so so there are the four type of settings here client so okay changes are allowed these three are changes are allowed no changes are allowed which means so if it is the production system if it is the production system all settings will be no changes are allowed if it is the non production systems then if it is a development system the changes are allowed why because changes are allowed means in the development we will do the changes right development we can directly log into the do system we can do the changes in the development system why because all development works will come from here only so the client system should be open system should be open status which means the client should be open status only it should be open means you are you are you have to set the settings like okay changes automatic regarding you have to you have to allow the changes or not allow the changes you are suppose you are not going to allow the changes then you have to change the changes to the no changes are allowed then auto, no changes are allowed here also in the cross client so no changes are allowed like that you have to maintain it if you do this one changes are not allowed in the system the direct changes are not allowed in the systems you cannot directly log into the this system this client you cannot do the any changes why because they are changes are not allowed the settings are made like no changes are allowed so in which cases we have to put this no changes are allowed means only the production testing systems we have to maintain the no changes are allowed remaining other systems we will keep like the changes are allowed changes are allowed we will put it so remaining systems production and testing we will make it like no changes are allowed why because we cannot directly go ahead and change the changes in the production in the production we cannot directly go ahead and change the changes here why because production is the critical if you allow the changes remaining persons also so they will directly log in and they will do the changes right users also will log in here external users so we cannot directly allow the users to change to the changes here so that's why development system the we can do the changes once you've done the changes you have to move the changes to the quality system here they will do the testing then they will move they will move the changes to the here production right that's why you cannot directly log in and do the changes here why because you have the development system here you have the quality testing system here so you have the production system before coming to this change in the production we have to do the development works in the development then testing works you have to do it in the testing system then production works you have to do it in the production system so that's why the client the client which client we are creating depends upon that client you need to make the changes you need to allow the changes here then so then click on the save button then client will be created see here client is data saved which means new client is created here see here 400 client is created which we created 400 client today we created the client there is a new client created 400 client new client created these all clients you can delete it so or you can create the these are the previously done the they have done the practice if you want you can delete it if you want to keep it you can keep it or create the oh i deleted the five oh, 100 client as well 400 client also i deleted so if you want to do practice you can do the practice as well okay so like that you need to define the client okay so this is the way we have to do the changes in the system so first we need to define the logical system then after that only we have to create the client so by creating the logical system we can identify so which system is this is the development system or development client or 100 client like that we will define it by choosing the logical system so logical system is very important 
here while creating the client we have the so why we have this many settings here in the sec4 why we have this many settings here so there is some client specific changes client cross client changes client specific means what so you have 100 client right client specific 100 client suppose if you some changes in the system so some data some data is the client specific only this 100 client specific changes so you are allowing you are allowing means so in this client you can do any changes in the system if you we put not allowed if you put not allowed then you are not entertained to do changes in the you are not entertained to do the changes in the 100 client so you are not supposed to do the changes here system will not allow you to do the changes but if you put either this setting or this setting or this setting you are allowed if you put this one you are allowed but it will be recorded whatever you are doing it will be recorded but if you are doing this one you are not there is no recording so like that there are some changes here but this three this one this one this one it will allow you to do the changes same as like cross client cross client means all the clients it will affect to the all the client system wide cross means it will allow the all the clients so you are if you do the changes it will allow the changes to the all the clients so if you don't want to allow the changes to the all the clients means then you need to no changes to the objects it means so only client specific changes are allowed but not like that cross client not client that system wide not for not for system wide so if you open this client you need to open the this one as well you need to open the client for this one as well okay then click on the save button then click on the save button click on the so save button like that we need to create it okay this is the client creation and logical system creation so once again i am showing here go to the bd54 first of all we need to define the logical system okay logical system we have to define it click on the new client suppose ecp clnt 100 client you can define it ecp 100 something like description you can name it anything not a problem i created here okay suppose i want to create the 800 client ccp clnt 800 maybe you have to define it ecp 800 so the naming convention should be you have to follow it correctly only okay so same in naming convention you have to follow sid your sid is the abc then you have to type like abc clnt 900 you have to type it then save it okay then after that after the client you done it go to the sec4 it's very simple go to the sec4 just click on the this pencil symbol okay click on the new entry then suppose you are developing the 800 then 800 you can create it then maybe you can type like uh, client 800 like that you can type it city with city maybe indian client india maybe logical system here you need to choose the browse the logical systems right here 800 means you have to assign the only 800 it is the 100 client means you have to assign the 100 client only not the 500 client different client so you have to make sure clearly assign the logical systems it will it should match it here then currency suppose uh, pound dollar so whatever it may be so like you can you can assign it is the indian dollar right indian rupee so then you can assign the indian rupee so you have the other other regions other countries also we have the client based upon the based upon the country you are creating based upon the client country you can assign it here let's see how many how many we have the singapore many countries are there you can choose it whatever you want you can choose it but we are indian country right so i just selected the indian what is the role here maybe the test system i choose it what is the client settings which should be here so here what is the client settings should be you can choose it then just click on the save button okay the client will be created here just to go back see 800 client is created here like that we have to create the client like that we have to define the client here so all the things we have to define the client here okay got it so this is the way we have to create the client and logical systems got it any questions from anyone client creation yes sir yes Sir, we are creating uh, after after installation the ECP. We are getting double zero and uh, triple zero and zero zero. Well, answer. Yes, right, yes, right. So yeah. during the installation, we will get the two clients, triple zero and a double zero client. But 
those are the providing sap's providing those clients but we cannot run our business we cannot run our changes we cannot run our developments and everything in the, these two clients for that one we have to create the one client either 100 or 200 or 300 so up to triple nine zero zero two two triple nine you can create any number you can give it three digits number you can run your business but uh, first time we need to connect with uh, double zero. Zero. yeah yeah initially we don't have or, any clients right so by we have yeah. to log into the either triple zero one double zero we have to log in and we have to create the new client then after that once you create the new client then after that when you are connecting to the new client when you are connecting to the new when you are connecting to the system then you don't want to connect to the double zero one you have created the triple zero client right then you have to connect the triple zero client then after that you need to enter the password then you will log into the triple zero client simple sir in the client settings we are giving that changes not allowed yes changes so we, not allowed. Uh, for yeah. for suppose we are for suppose we are logging through this client id 800 in the server level or we are not able to do changes or in that uh, client level in the, pad? in the not logon pad level in the client level in the this uh, the screen level like you are connecting to the 800 client right and you are connecting to the this 800 client in the client 100 i put like you are not allowed to log on you are not allowed to do the changes which means you can log in you can log into the system suppose 100 client right 100 client Suppose you are trying to do the change, some changes here, system will not allow you to do the changes here. Maybe I will log into the one client here. So I, I connected here, go to the SEC4, this is the 100 one. So no changes are allowed, no changes are allowed. Suppose if I am trying to do some changes here, if I am trying to do some changes, like suppose I am going to on table level, I am trying to allow the changes, I am trying to do the changes. It will not allow. It will not allow that to the changes. It will take like so. Okay, client settings are closed. Something like that. Suppose if I take an example, which one? Okay, SM50. There is a HTTP URL lock table. Okay, I am trying to go edit this one. Complete dark design. You will get this all this transactions code and everything. HTTP URL a lock table. I'm trying to create system testing system setting does not allow any changes, which means you are not allowed to do that any changes here. See here system settings in SEC4 or you cannot make any changes in this client. So normally this is our secret client or this is our standard client. So no can no one cannot directly log into this client, they cannot do any changes here. That's why I put like so no changes are allowed if you put no changes allowed no changes allowed then no one cannot do anything same as like we will get the different error message now we will get the error message right suppose if you put like changes are allowed save it then go to the same now one person is trying to do the some changes in the color changes now we'll just click on the create button now you'll get the screen now see you can just create the entry here we will do the some table level changes and everything you can do it from here now how the system allowed means i did the changes here in the 100 client so i did the changes here allowed the changes allowed the changes i did it suppose if you don't want to allow the changes here what you have to do no changes are allowed no changes are allowed. normally in the production systems we cannot directly go ahead and change the changes right so that's why we will close the client we will close the system settings here we will just, normally we will inform to every user we will inform to the every user but some user they don't know but he is trying to log in and he will do the same same changes so, so even though he is trying to do the changes then system will not allow that's why we have to put this set, settings to the no changes are allowed no changes are allowed. but this is our basis control only this is our control not your users control because these all these transaction code settings are our control and means administrative control we have to control it here so that whenever they required they will get the approval for client to open and the client close then we will open it depends upon the approval only why because if you open it in our production systems if you open it in a production systems if you open the client in a production system user went to the one transaction code suppose the banking server 
is it the banking server you will go to these accounts table and they will do the some adjustments then your loan is zero zero which means <coughs> it is doing some fraud to avoid this type of frauds and everything for the as respect to banking servers in the production system in the production systems always client should be closed status no changes are allowed no change directly you cannot do the any changes here right that's why we have to close the changes so if you do the change no changes are allowed you are trying to just create the one entry or doing the some changes system will not allow system settings does not allow any changes okay so that's why again he has to request our basis team basis team will get the approval from our manager or client manager okay particular person asking us to open the client will you agree will you approve something like that we will send that message he told that okay okay this i know you can just open it then we will go ahead and sec4 then click on the client click on this client change okay then no changes are allowed changes are allowed changes are allowed we can we can put it out save it then he can do the changes so like that we will do our changes uh, like like that like that we will do the changes in the systems this is the way got it right sir in the production level if the user not unable to access so in that case we need to change the settings by using scc4 yes right. taking the approvals yeah yeah, yeah by taking the approvals only. but because there is the production production yeah yeah we, I understand. Yeah, yeah we have to we have to take the approval or he, he will take the approval and he will come back to us he will take the approval otherwise we yes. have to take the approval so hi sir particular person asking us to open the client so can you please approve it then we will we will open it suppose if we see here so in my case in the real time you will see we will get the multiple request here just if you click on open see so one person asking to open the client open the client grr sid 400 client then we have opened the client client is open so like that we will get we will get it out normally every person should have as activity this activity this is the one of the activity regular activity so functional team they want to do the some changes they want us to open the client then we will open the client in the regression quality test systems development it's automatically open you we don't need to open the development system only testing and production it will be closed so we should recover we should know what changes they are doing and everything then only we will close the changes we will close the changes here then if they are doing we will ask them what you are going to do here then only you are approving manager your manager will approve that one then we will come to here we will open the client here 